Before I get into today's video, I first have got to give a big time shout out to you, every producer and beat maker who has supported the sound effects kit, the support you guys have given so far, all of the positive comments and messages I've received on social media, email, through text. Your support means a lot and it allows me to continue to do what I do and provide you guys videos and updated content. In the near future, there should also be some updated reviews on it, as well as it being featured on some of the other popular sound kit sites. The early bird special for that kit ends tonight at midnight Eastern Standard Time, so to save an additional 20% on on that, you should use Early Bird 20 at checkout before midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. All that information and link will be in the description. And again, I really do appreciate all the support. Okay, so for today's video, on a daily basis, I get messages and inquiries, comments from aspiring music producers, beat makers. Some have been making music for years and are a little more seasoned, but a lot of the questions that I receive are from novice and beginner beat makers. I'll get questions like, hey, I've been making music for three months, you know, I'm having problems getting these beats to sound right. Do you have any particular advice? Hey, I've been making music for eight months. You know, I've been trying to chop up these samples. I'm having problems. You know, I'm struggling over here. What, what do you suggest? And a lot of times, especially that early in the process, my main advice is just to continue to create, continue to make music. And over time, a lot of these things will work themselves out. Now, I'm not saying don't seek out tutorials or articles or ask specific questions if you know what the particular issue is, but a lot of it just takes time of making lots of tracks. Early on, you're typically just trying to figure out the doll that you're using trying to understand the process of putting music together, whether you're composing or sampling. There's a lot of little kinks and things to work out in the first year or two years of you making beats. You know, to perfect any type of skill set like music production, it's something that doesn't develop overnight. Now, some people are more naturally talented at certain things than others, and so the learning curve might be a little less steep for some people. But nonetheless, you're gonna have to put in hours and hours and hours and months and years into anything that you wanna be great at or even moderately good at. So I thought to bring this point home, it might be kind of fun today for me to dig back in my hard drive deep back to about 2006 when I first started making beats. Tracks that were never released online or anything, this was during the the process where I was just getting familiar with my software, just starting to try to learn how to how to sample and compose and actually make an instrumental that an artist or a rapper could record to. These are tracks that I'm surprised I even still have access to. Not sure why I didn't scrap them many years ago, but nonetheless, it was kind of fun for me to go back, discover these tracks that I hadn't heard in years. You can feel free to laugh, drop whatever kind of comments that you want. I'm kind of hanging myself out there to dry and that's fine. The point is I just want to bring home, if it's something that you really love to do, make music, make beats, don't expect it to come over night just work your ass off, put in the time, do your own independent research and homework, and don't be afraid to experiment. But anyway, I put together a short medley of a few beats that I made in my first six months of making beats. I'm gonna let you hear what those sound like now.